Hey traders, Roggy here. And I think the question on most of our minds is what does today's bounce mean? So we're gonna go through the indices and a couple of the individual sectors that make up the high concentration weighting of these indices and ask ourselves a couple key questions. One, does today's really the culmination of the last four or five sessions, but today meaning you know, a pretty large move up into the 21 propulsion, up into the wave, does this change anything? And two, is this still a downtrend? Because then we short rallies, we short rips, we short retracements, right? So let's start off with the S&P. Double red downtrend, steady string of red grab candles. And today, after a bounce that started on the 20th of May, we've made it to the 21 propulsion, which is the way in which I replaced the 21 exponential moving average on my chart. By the way, if you want this indicator, you can go grab it at countdowntrader.com. Check out that website. There's a lot of great content there as well as this indicator. So we've made it to that propulsion and we've made it to the wave. In any other market, forget the way that we got here. In any other market, forget the news. We'd be doing what? We'd be looking to short. We'd be looking to for an opportunity to either get long puts or sell the micro or sell the ES or look for opportunities in financials, look for opportunities in tech, look for opportunities in healthcare to short. And yet, because the news is perhaps the headlines anyways, right? Well, we've got a we've got a inflation letdown. The Federal Reserve is not as concerned. What does that even mean? That doesn't necessarily mean they're not going to continue to hike rates, right? But let's not just get stuck on the ES. Let's take a look at the NQ. NQ hasn't even made it to the 21 propulsion. So really, how meaningful is this bounce? It's not even a retracement to the 21, which I would consider the most aggro, the most shallow retracement we could even make. We've, we've actually touched the 13 as we have the last three times this market bounced. So this is not even close to pressuring a retracement. And we have to pressure a retracement before we even start to pressure the validity of the trend. We're not even in the zip code of that happening. So what's changed in the NASDAQ? Nothing. We've got a higher high now to start thinking of opportunities to short the NASDAQ, the QQQ, the XLC, the XLY, or even stocks within those sectors. Well, let's talk about the Dow. The Dow, you might say, okay, Rob, there's something here. We've got a blue grab candle. You're absolutely right. But let's go back and say, Dow, last time you bounced, did you give me a blue grab candle? Sure did, right? So if you look at a market within the context of its previous behavior, yes, past behavior does not necessarily indicate future performance, but there is something to be said about a certain pattern, a certain rhythm behind a market. I don't look at... I don't look at the markets any different than I would look at people. We tend to be who we are. We tend to do what we do. And in the context of a downtrend, when the Dow rallies into the wave, well, the previous one gave us a blue grab candle, and this is not that dissimilar. Is the structure still downtrending? Absolutely, right? So this is a more meaningful bounce that looks like the previous bounce within the context of a still intact downtrend. So what does today's bounce mean? It means that we should still be looking for opportunities to short downtrends, not short anything, right? Any old move higher is not necessarily a retracement or a rip. We want to find double red, preferably into the 21 or the wave. Now, there's one thing that could be very interesting and it's gonna to happen tomorrow at 8.30, so heads up for this. It's the PCE hot zone, 8.30 a.m. Eastern, which is the Federal Reserve sort of pet inflation number. That's their favorite. CPI and PCE are actually measured in two very different ways, yet they're both measuring inflation. Nonetheless, we know that inflation is one of the mandates of the Federal Reserve. The second, by the way, are jobs. So if we know the Federal Reserve has a public mandate on inflation, if that inflation number is rather flat, it's, it's not as hot as people expect, as traders and investors expect, we could see a little bit more strength. But if that inflation number is flat to say a little strong, a little bit higher, a little hotter, look for basically this trend, 
this uh, to continue and this bound this bounce to end. So what does this bounce mean? It means we should not be changing our overall attitude of shorting rallies. Keep that bearish watch list intact. Keep that list of names that we would like to see higher highs from so that we can get long puts so that we can short them. All right. That's what we're going to continue to do until what we just pointed out shifts, which it has not yet. I'll see you all in the next update. Hey traders, Raggy from Simpler Trading. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment below. And remember, subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll get notified of the next update. And when you're ready to join me for live trading, be sure to head on over to simplertrading.com. I'll see you in the next update.